Hello guys, in previous video we defined what is linker list. In this video we are gonna see various types of linker list. There are various varieties of linker list. Yesterday we have seen uh, double linker list. Now we are going to see, uh, sorry, yesterday we have seen single linker list. And these are remaining various types. Double linker list, circular linker list, circular double linker list and header linker list. Uh, we have to go in detail uh, for all of these. So let's first see what does a double linker list mean. As in single single linker list, we define a node, a chain of nodes. Each node stores some value v and uh, address of the next node. This is the case of single linker list. But in double linker list, each node stores some value and the address of the next node as well as the address of the previous node so similar to single linker list we have a head node and we have a tail node he head node stores the some value address of the next node and previous node is there is no node so head dot next will be null and similarly for tail node previous it stores the address of the previous node and it stores the address of the next node as null so there is simple addition to single 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 link list where we are storing address of the next node as well as the address of the previous node and in c representation we can write a node as like this if we define node as like this it contains uh, address it contains some value v and uh, address of the next node and it also contains two pointers node star storing the address of the next node it also contains another pointer node star previous node so it stores some value it stores the address of the next node it stores the address of the previous node and uh, similar to the single linker list if we have the address of the node 1 we can traverse entire linker list in o of n complexity where n is the time of the sorry n is the number of nodes in the linker list but uh, if we have address of the tail then also we can traverse back to the head that this is the advantage of uh, double linker list we can traverse in both the directions from head to tail from tail to head because of the previous pointers that we are storing so in the next video we will discuss some more advantages of double linker list or a single single linker list as well as the disadvantages of the double linker list compared to the single linker list thanks for watching please like share and subscribe